Hey guys, Blue View back with another video. Today we're going to be going bluey hunting. Um, I'm going to be hitting up H and V, CX, and Poundland, hoping that they will have some good stuff in there. I pray that Poundland delivers because um, it recently I've been getting no luck with my local Poundland. I know a lot of other people haven't been and watching videos of you know Big Paulie, you know getting all those great titles. It really does make me think, why is my Poundland so bloody bad? But yeah, I, I, I hope they do deliver today. I've heard um, that from my mate who went there, that they did have a fit, but they didn't have much, but they may have got delivery on or something. Um, so I really, really hope on that. And yeah, some, some releases they are, I think this week, were First Man, and I believe Crazy Rich Asians came out recently, and Man and the Wasp. I've missed so much. Johnny English also came out, I believe, as well. But yeah, I've missed so much. Um, but yeah, we're going, going out blue hunting, guys. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel guys, and I'll be back after I've done the beer hunting and I'll show you if I pick anything up, and I really hope I do. Some recent releases were A Star Is Born, so there's the Blu-ray of that one. They also do have uh, the new Predator movie, which I've heard terrible things about, and they also do have the uh, collection of four Predator movies. Other ones, they do have Ant-Man the Wasp, um, First Man, which I want to pick up the 4K steel book of. One English Strikes Again was another recent one. Uh, they also do have uh, The House of the Clock and the Wars, which I have no interest in. Um, they shall never grow with a simple favour. And what else? Oh yeah, cra Crazy Rich Asians, but I have no interest in this one really. But Leave No Trace, I've heard great things about this one. It's exclusive to h &V as well. This is sitting on 100% of Rotten Tomatoes. I need to pick this one up when it goes down a bit. Um, what else do they have? They've got this McQueen sort of lenticular sort of thing. I don't really know what that is, but it looks cool. Um, the Mercy with Colin Firth, I've heard pretty good things about that one actually. And uh, oh yeah, um, God's Own Country, really wanted to watch this one actually when it came out. I may pick this one up when it goes down the price a bit. Looking around, and I actually managed to uh, see Field of Dreams. Uh, this is my favourite movie of all time, um, Kevin Costner, it's an absolute masterpiece. And this one's really expensive on eBay, so um, I think they've only got one copy of it left. So I may pick this one up if I can find another movie that I want to get in this deal. That's it for HMV. Next up, I believe, will be CEX. For CEX, they do have that Alien vs. Predator um, sort of slipped edition of the two movies. Didn't really like them, though. And um, that Avengers box set, which is pretty cool. Um, the Arrow, season two to six. Um, Chappie for 250 Actually, I may pick this one up since I don't actually own that one on Blu-ray. Um, Everest for two pounds, a very good movie. Um, that was a really good one. Also, do have uh, First Man the new release. So yeah, just looking around, they do actually have Venom the new release, the new Tom Hardy film. Oh, actually, pretty good thing about that one. I'm gonna pick that up when it goes down in price. They do have Split 4K, one of M Night Shyamalan's best. Um, what else do they have? They do have Supergirl. I see suits down there. Also, the new Sicario movie, and uh, they also have Raw. You do have the place beyond the pines with Ryan Gosling and Bradley Cooper. I've not heard much about this one, but really like the car. Just looking around, and they saw this Lawless Steelbook, and it's got really nice like bullet marks in it, which make it look really cool. As in Poundland, and I think I've got a lucky day. They've got the lady in the van. They've got freaking hostiles in here. Like this is like such a new title. To us. I don't, can't believe they've actually got that in here. Yeah, they've got so much Chronicle, um, X-Men, The Last Stand, um, Jurassic World, Expendables, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 3D. Oh my gosh, they've got so much in here. Um, Tower, Meets, Expendables, number one. Um, Hawk, which is a movie I've been wanting to watch for a bit now. Um, 22 Jump Street, X-Men Days of Future Past, my favorite X-Men movie. Um, Transformers. Uh, the Force in Our Stars, which is apparently really good. They've got Automatic. Um, what else do they have? Hologram for a King. I already picked that one up. It's a really good movie. Uh, just going down, they do have Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Such a great movie. Um, Lion. Oh my gosh. This is, in, this is crazy. Jurassic World 3D with a lenticular. <laughs> Go over some of these titles. Like, they've got the Minions 3D on lenticular. Um, for such a cheap price of £2. Chronicle, I'm gonna pick that one up probably. Um, Lion, just can't believe they've got that in here. And same with Jurassic World, such great movies for two pounds. 
Hazy Future Past um, with a slip. Um, it's crazy. Rio 2 3D. Definitely going to pick that one up. Breaking Bad. The Wolverine. Um, very good movie. And, and The Counselor. Kick Ass on Blu ray with that cool, cool sort of comic slip. And A Day with Marilyn. That one's one of Golden Globes and stuff. That looks really good. And they also do have Pixels and The Expendables 1. Just can't get over the amount of Blu rays I've got in here. It's like a freaking huge Blu ray section. It's bigger than the section in like big supermarkets. But yeah, um, just still can't get over all the great titles like Pixels, The Hateful Eight. Quentin Tarantino, um, very, uh, I've heard very good things about that. The Monuments Men, not going to pick that up, but I've got Matt Damon in it, which is pretty cool. Um, tonight, I don't know what that is. But yeah, it's just amazing. You the, uh, the Purge, the uh, first movie in that trilogy. Not a huge fan of them, to be honest. Um, what else? Um, do Bonded by Blood 2, I've never heard of that one. And what's this? Walking with Dinosaurs. Never heard of that movie. Yeah, so still can't get over all these Blu-rays. Uh, so much. Definitely going to pick up a huge bunch of them from here. So guys, I'll see you at the house and show you what I picked up. So hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that Blu-ray hunting. I got a lot today. I think this is probably my most successful Blu-ray hunting video I've ever done. Um, Poundland was absolutely amazing. H&B was as good as it used to be, and then CX was also amazing. So I'm going to start off with my CX pickups. I don't really show you in the video, I'm um, in the Blu-ray hunting bits, of what I was actually got. First one um, is The Place Beyond the Pines. I got this one for the £2. Um, Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, I hadn't even heard of this movie, um, to be honest. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, Bradley Cooper was amazing in American Sniper. And I recently watched Blade Runner 2049 with Ryan Gosling. I love that. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but for £2, I said to myself, why not? Um, the reviews on it do look pretty promising as well. And yeah, first one is The Place Beyond the Pines. Um, that's my first CX one. Next one is The Equalizer, number one. I got this one for 3 50 It does come with a slip cover. Um, and I believe, I know no UV code with this one, but only a... Um, the equalizer disc the Blu-ray disc right there but yeah um, 350 um, I said why not again you know CX really gave out um, today and now the equalizer I think they probably recently got this one in um, next one we did get Chappie um, I, all, I already own Elysium which I believe I put in my box and then I've got District 9 so this is the um Last movie I need from director, what's the director called? Um, Neil Blokamp, I believe, is, is the director of this movie. But yeah, this is the last movie I need, I guess, of that kind of sci-fi collection of his. So it's Elysium, Elysium, Chappie, and District 9. But yeah, I've watched District 9, I love that. I've not watched Elysium, and I've not watched Chappie. But yeah, a really nice slipcover, and I got this one for 250 And But yeah, a lovely slipcover, and this one, comes with a UV code, um, chappy Blu-ray, and then a bonus disc as well. So that's really nice. Um, and the slipcover for this one is in mini condition. The eight prize one's got a bit of damage, but nothing um, really too bad. But yeah, three fifty for Chappy. Are you happy with that? And my final CX pickup was eighteen pounds. I did get Mission Impossible Fallout Steelbook um, for 18. Really in, impressed with the price. So I'll just give you a little unboxing of this. It does have the J card on it, and it's all stuck as well. Like, how's the guy just bought this from H and V and just taking it straight to CX? Because it's all stuck. He's, he's not opened it, um, which is really weird. But yeah, this Steelbook is beautiful. Um, this is my favourite movie of 2018, 2018, um, and definitely my favourite Mission Impossible movie. Um, it was so good. It was perfection. Yes, there's the front, Tom Cruise, and that amazing helicopter scene. There's the back, and then inside we do have our 4K disc. We've got the 4K, the Blu-ray, and um, we've got the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray film, the 4K, the 4K film, and then the bonus features. So yeah, really nice, and then behind there, You've got the um, famous stunt that he did to break his ankle or break whatever you broke. 
but yeah, I'm, I'm, I saw this for 18. I said to myself, I'm, I'm obviously I'm gonna get it on steelbook. It's in, it's in really good condition. It's in fine condition for me. And yeah, it was an amazing movie, and I'm really, really happy to get full out up on steelbook. And it did come with a J card as well. Um, well, this isn't really a J card. This is sort of just a slip that goes around it. But yeah, that's it. That's that. Next, we have some of our Poundland pickups. We've got 10 things from Poundland. This is finally a time I've been to Poundland and actually had something. Because usually when I go to Poundland, they literally have nothing. Um, first one is Chronicle. These are all £2 now. I don't know why they up in the £2. Maybe the, I don't know, maybe the distributor um, increased prices. But yeah, Chronicle, I've heard a really good thing about this one. I've not actually watched this one yet. But uh, yeah, it's Chronicle. Just a regular Blu ray. Um, next one is My Week with Marilyn. This one got a golden glow. When was this movie made? What did she say? It was 2013, I think. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, I've not, I've, I didn't even know this movie existed for this. But yeah, I'm really, really happy to have this. Um, and for two pounds, I'm going well. Next one is Minions 3D. It's got actually this lenticular. Um, quite nice and deep here, actually. I really actually enjoyed this film, um, I really did enjoy it, and yeah, it's actually a really nice cover, and I saw this and I was like, why not, I don't own any of the Despicable Me movies, although I do love them, but yeah, that, that front is really nice on this movie, yeah, so that's Minions, um, next one is The Counselor from Ridley Scott, um, um, I've, I think I've heard of this movie, but I've not actually watched it, because it got really terrible reviews, but I saw it for two pounds, and um, I said to myself, you know, that is an extremely, extremely good price um, for such a such a prestigious movie. You know, any Ridley Scott movie is worth more than two pounds. Um, but yeah, the counselor Michael Fassbender as well. I love Michael Fassbender. I love him in the X Men movies. He's great. It's also got Brad Pitt, Brad Brad Pitt, yeah, and uh, yeah, Cameron Diaz. This is a really good cast. This movie. I haven't seen any reviews of it, um, but yeah, and of course, it also does come with a slipcover as well. These slips are all in really good condition as well. Next one was another really good pickup for me, and that's Rio 2 on um, 3D, and comes with a slip cover. Slip cover's in great condition. And yeah, it's actually a really, really nice slip cover. And all of these, I guess, come with UV codes. I don't know if they've been opened or what, but yeah, that's Rio. Um, I've watched Rio 1, I really enjoyed Rio 1. I've not actually watched number two, um, but yeah, I've, I can now watch it, and yeah, really look forward to watching that. So happy Poundland finally um, gave out. This is probably my favourite one I picked up. Well, it's one of the two. This is a Western, and that is The Hateful Eight. Quentin Tarantino. I've still not watched The Hateful Eight, um, but I've heard great things about this one. Um, I was going to buy the Film Arena, I believe, edition, but I said to myself, it's got a slip. Um, it's in Poundland. I said to myself, let's just buy this, because um, it's a lovely slip. It's in great condition, and uh, obviously any film with Quentin Tarantino is going to be good. I do love Quentin Tarantino as well. Um, next one we do have Kick Ass. Kick Ass. Um, I've not watched Kick Ass. I've not watched either of them. Um, these are like a gap in my knowledge. I've not really watched any of the Kill Bills or the Kick Ass movies or any sort of American comedy movies. I've not watched any of them. But yeah, this is what it's called comic slip. I believe this is a set of slips. I've also got um, the Incredible Hulk with one of these slips as well. Um, there is a specific name for these slips, but um, yeah, I don't really know what they're called. There's a name for them, uh, but yeah, it's a really nice slip. Uh, it's mint condition. This was the last copy of this one, actually. I'm really happy with that one. Next one is The Lady in the Van. Um, another movie I've not watched, but I've heard really good things about it. And yeah, it's a really nice slip cover on this one. And this one, yeah, the slip cover is really nice. As you can see, it's got a lovely shine to it. This is probably the nicest slip cover I've got today. Or the next one I'm going to show you. But yeah, The Lady in the Van. My cousin tells me this is a really good movie. We were actually going to watch it, but we instead watched the movie um, called, I believe, Magnificent Seven. That is, that is one I watched instead of this one. But yeah, I really like Magnificent Seven. Um, but yeah, that looks really good. The Lady in the Van. Next one is... I already do own the steel book of this one, but I said to myself... You know, it's two pounds, and I can put this one next to some of the uh, trilogy I've got, and that is Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World, obviously with the new one. This is a lenticular, it's a 3D edition, 
and I was just amazed to see this for two pounds. I mean, this is a huge, huge release, and when it came out, it was sticking to fifteen pounds, and it's two pounds. And this is brand new. This is not one of the repackaged ones. This is brand new, and it's not just the regular Blu-ray. It's the bloody three D of it, and it's just insane how this has gone down to two pounds. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. It just shows the Blu-rays are not selling um, at the big stores. But yeah, that's Jurassic World. And the final pound and pick up um, a movie. I'm extremely surprised. When I saw it, I said to myself, how has that ended up in Poundland? Because when it came out, I remember wanting to watch it. And I just cannot believe this is in Poundland. And I don't know if this is anyone in anyone else's Poundland. But yeah, they had hostiles in Poundland. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't believe it. Um, I saw the um, the spine, and I said to myself, "Oh, it's probably some knockoff action movie called Hostile," because there probably are many. Um, but yeah, it was the Christian Bale movie, the western, and I've heard really good things about this one. But just again, to see this one in Poundland is really weird. Um, for two pounds as well, they also had Lion as well, which is a film I picked up in HMV a few months ago. But yeah, just some of the titles in H in um, Poundland today were absolutely crazy. So yeah, there's my Poundland haul from today. Um, my biggest Poundland haul ever. I think the last one was four or something. Some, and they, they were all crap. But these ones are really good. There's some really solid titles in I mean, they're all good films. They're all films that I've at least heard of, apart from the uh, My Week with Marilyn. I've not actually heard of that. But yeah, I've heard of all of these movies. And yeah, really, really happy with them. And then we have two final HMV pickups. Um, one of these is my favourite movie of all time. Um, and one of them I've not watched, but I think could make it to my favourite movie of all time. That's Forrest Gump. I've not actually watched Forrest Gump, um, but I really do need to. I've heard such good things about this movie, and obviously Tom Hanks is an amazing actor. He's been in so, so many of my favourite movies. I mean, my personal favourite from Tom Hanks, I've not watched all of Tom Hanks' movies, would have to be Bridge of Spies. I thought that movie was absolutely superb. It would be Bridge of Spies. Captain Phillips, I mean, I've got loads down here. Sully, I also watched that one recently, and Sully was really, really impressive, yeah, but these were in 2 for 13, I think that's a new thing, HMV, I didn't think, um, remember there being a 2 for 13 deal, but yeah, 2 for 13, and I saw this, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. Alright, so next one is my favourite movie of all time, and you may think, why is that your favourite movie of all time? Um, I remember watching this, I think, after my... Um, Sat in year six, and I was down because I didn't get the results I wanted. And this movie literally made me cry. It's such a beautifully made movie, starring Kevin Costner, one of my favorite actors. And yeah, that's Field of Dreams. Um, Field of Dreams is so good. If you guys haven't checked this movie out, it's probably a movie that went under the radar when it came out. But this movie is absolutely perfection. I'd give it a hundred percent. I'd give it a million out of a million. Kevin Costner is just, it's just amazing. I think if you're American, it would probably be more heartfelt because it's about baseball and in the UK, we're not huge baseball lovers. But even if you don't, even if you hate baseball with all your heart, this movie I think, I think will still reach you and you'll probably still love it. Kevin Costner's been in so many great movies. My personal favourites from him would probably be Field of Dreams and Man of Steel. Man of Steel for me is an amazing movie and it's a masterpiece, but I know many people don't think it is. But yeah, that's the, four, um, that's Field of Dreams, sorry. Um, yeah, so definitely, if you've not checked out Field of Dreams, check this movie out. It's in the 2 for 13 to your HMV at the moment. Go ahead and pick this up. There are loads of other titles in this um, category. I think they may have got rid of the 5 for 30 deal, though, um, which is a bit annoying, to be honest, because I did love that um, deal. But yeah, now you can get 2 for 15. I think picking up two titles is much better than picking up three, because it was 3 for 20 as well. Um, but yeah, that's my Blu-ray haul from today. Um, as you can see, I picked up a lot. Um... But everything I picked up today is well worth it. I think I spent in the region of £50 for all of that, which in my eyes is extremely good. Um, I've got some amazing stuff from Poundland here. Fallout Steelbook is probably the highlight for me. Obviously, it would be the most expensive. But yeah, I'm so happy they had that in stock. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with all these great titles I picked up today. Um, every shop I went to delivered on what I wanted. So yeah, guys, that's the end of my... Um, Blu-ray hunting video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could like and also subscribe to the channel, we're to 100 subscribers. Um, I'm putting a new UV code giveaway later in the day, so make sure to stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.